Oh, and we got some more goodies for the Super Peter. This is a Be Quiet Pure Rock 3. I don't know. Supposedly extremely silent. One of the most silent coolers ever made. At least in this price range. Look at the size of that honker. And hope that fits inside the case. This has one uh, push fan on it, which is in here somewhere. There you go, there's some German engineered uh, Be Quiet fan tag. Black sleeve, very nice. And this is looking horrifying. Because that's some mounting hardware for it. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. And some instructions. And the clips to put that on there. Let's hope this isn't a total pain in the ass, because man, that's a lot of stuff. All right, wish me luck, guys. First steps first was get all that old uh, lithium grease off here. So I'm gonna use some Arctic Silver, which I do believe I have in here, and just a tiny little dab of it, just a tiny bit. First problem is uh, this, the inside case had this, you know, this thing coming down, which was sitting there, and there's no way that this is gonna fit with that in there. I don't know if the case is gonna close with this thing in there, it's so big. They're so tall. It's gonna be a tight fit, but I think if I it sits right about there, maybe I can get this thing to close. Is that gonna close? Ooh, it's gonna be close. I'll try that. And then this I had to pull off too, and that's a little mesh cover for that. And I'll have to find some nuts or something to put that back on there because this was supporting it. Now just pull that back until the, the lever comes up. Unplug your cables. And I'm sorry for making so many computer videos lately, but uh, them's the brakes, folks. This is how I'm paying the bills lately. And this uh, Be Cool, it actually does use the same, I guess, uh, mounting hardware as the stock AMD. So it's a lot easier um, than the Intel. So I'm going to try it on this first because it uses uh, just this long bracket here. And it should reconnect i'm guessing the bracket goes across uh, just from there to there the instructions are not very well done but we will figure it out as we go all right i think i got this figured out so this just goes across like the old one down there and then you just put these clips on each side with the screw but we got a problem because this case won't close it's just like it will close but like it's bending so this is the bracket that needs to go on. Luckily, this thing doesn't need a back plate despite its humongous size. So this just slides down right here and that will attach uh, once you have, like just imagine the fans on, and that will attach to your normal FX or I guess AM3, AM3 plus. This will be put on the cooler like so. Uh, this is even more perfect because of the way that the stock back plating is. Now it wants to go in like that. But that doesn't make much sense because then the fan's going to be on this wide side just kind of blowing air anywhere. It needs to be blowing air that way out the back. Okay, this is turning into an example of how not to install your cooler. So don't do it my way because I'm an idiot. And uh, yeah, these things don't work, which are complete like... This is supposed to be German made. Easy, smart. These things are the mounts for the fan. They're just ridiculous. Like this hardware and these instructions don't tell you jack shit. I think this was really meant for an Intel and to use a backplate, but whatever. We'll go with the zip ties for now because this might just be temporary because freaking that doesn't even come on or doesn't even go back on. So the case won't fully close, but, and it doesn't sit right. So right now this is just an experiment. Maybe later on I'll get a, a different case, but. For now, it's zip ties and a little bit of hope. I was just trying to get that thing in there as, as much as I could, and I did get it in there, so it was on. That little bracket at the bottom, pain in the butt. I think if I was gonna do it again, I would take out the stock, the stock AMD brackets, those black things there, and then install it all outside of the computer and then just screw it all in. And I would also advise using zip ties instead of those stupid clips because they just don't work. Um, as for the case, I did get it on, I can get it on. Just barely though, here I'll show you. So case is on with the grill. I did not get this plastic cover back on there. I'll figure something out, maybe some glue or something. And here we go. Okay, so temps are nearly as bad as I thought. We got 51 running dirt benchmark at pretty high settings on the CPU and 32 for the motherboard. And the fan's only at 1500 RPM. And you can't really hear it, the 
I know these you can hear, just the case fans. And I can turn those off. So this is about my fifth test on dirt and it hasn't really gone too bad. I think this is a go. This is like about almost 10 degrees. Well, it was about 58 degrees with the stock cooler. I don't know, it works. Don't do it the way I did it. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, yeah, keep on breaking stuff. Bye-bye.